Hey, I'm Susan Berkeley with the Inside Voice of her video training blog. And this week, I want to talk to you about the scripts you get for your auditions and for the jobs you're going to do. Because a lot of people are afraid to touch their scripts. And I'll tell you what I mean about that. Most voiceover scripts require a little bit of work to make them properly readable. Now, all of this is with a caveat. You cannot rewrite the scripts. You can't edit them or change them in any way. But sometimes you do need to do a little bit of manipulation so they're easier for you to read. So the first thing is that they'll often be way too long, especially with commercial copy, where there's tight time restrictions. I'm not talking so much about an audition, but in an actual job. They might give you a script that it says on the top 60 seconds, you go to perform it, and it's taking you 70, 80 seconds to do. Well, at that point, the client will probably cut some copy, and you might just, you know, raise your hand, hello can we shorten this a little bit? And they probably will. The second thing is don't be afraid to mark your scripts. Now I do work off of an iPad and I admit it's difficult to mark a script on an iPad. So as you're starting and you're getting your feet wet in this business, you might want to choose to work on an actual script to make it easier to mark for yourself. And I suggest using a pencil so you can make changes to those markings. The third thing is that if a word looks odd, ask the client. Sometimes it's a typo or sometimes you don't know how to pronounce it. Try looking it up, but if you can't find it anywhere, it's probably a typo. Check the pronunciations online before you actually speak the words and ask for a word file. Sometimes they send you something in a PDF, which means it can't be manipulated. And if they happen to send you a text file, like an Excel spreadsheet, be careful. Sometimes text can hide in between the lines. So those are some of my tips for marking your voiceover scripts. I hope they're helpful for you. I'm Susan Berkeley, and we'll be back next week with more Inside VoiceOver.